Good morning, day 67. We're kind of sleepy. But we're going to get up and hopefully have another big day. <laughs> Lassen Park, 4.7. Looks like back to some burn area. Gonna be a warm, beautiful day. At the moment, I have my hat and gloves on. Breath away. It's a tricky one and it's slippery. Hold on, I'll help you. Look at this monster. Hi. You gotta not get punctured on the way down. <laughs> Bless you. All right. We're a few miles in. Been doing some climbing. Shed some layers. It is pretty toasty. Brody just said. Pretty toasty for 8 a.m. And that changed quickly. All right, here we are. That part of the sign got burned, but entering Lassen Volcanic National Park. Here we are. And it's a burn area. Next 28 miles, I think, to the next boundary of exiting the park. So you are supposed to have a bear canister in this 28 miles. All right, so we're here at this junction and terminal geyser. It's point three off trail. We're gonna do it. Yeah. In the name of education. <laughs> All right, it's a geothermal steam vent, and we can we could smell it from about 0.3 or so back. And we're making our way to where we can check it out. All right, I kind of was expecting it to be like Old Faithful, where like all of a sudden. We'd wait, and then poof, steam. But it appears as though it's just constantly running. Interesting. So how's this possible, boys? What's going on underground to cause this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just read about this because I needed to know for sure. That is a sulfur spring lake. And it actually says, do not go too close to it because the ground could be brittle and you could sink into the sulfur springs below. That would be a terrible way to go. <laughs> All right. So we're here at this junction. I don't know what Devil's Kitchen is. There are a couple buildings down here. Oh, this is the ranch. Okay, Drake's Bad, I think, is a ranch. Used to be like a vacation resort place, but it's closed. Um, so there was a large building, and then a couple of outbuildings, a pool, and so forth. 
Yeah, so without stopping and checking, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. You can see a bigger building there. Might be like a like an inn, bed and breakfast kind of place, but I believe it's closed. So I'm sure it was closed last year due to the fires. Closed this year. So not a whole lot going on here. Continuing north. the end. Yikes. I can see some But it almost does look like a fire, like, you don't see flames, but you see smoke. Is it, it's the geyser. I don't think it is, I'm not seeing any of the green around it. It shakes, don't go on it, All right. Don't get distracted by the mosquitoes as you go. Think I can do this? Thanks for all your hard work. Oh, oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> he was also very excited to point out or ask us if we had seen any little saplings. Obviously, they're happy to see that. It has been a long, hot day. <laughs> I'm thankful right now that it's flat, but we're just kind of cooking here in the sun as we go through this burn area, and somehow we're only like 16 miles in. Feels like we should have way more miles than that at this time of day. A rough one. There's a pretty lake down there and we should be coming up to a junction of a couple of lakes actually so even though we're only like 17 in we're gonna stop take a break here. We need to hydrate and rest. Hopefully there's some shade. Hopefully some shade that is not on charred ground and refuel a little bit and then see what we can pull off for the remainder of the day. It's pretty. I'm going to try to see if we can find a little spot that is not burnt ground. This is a trail. Oh. Crazy. What a mess this fire left. Oh. Yeah, let's find a spot. Oh, pancake. Oh, 
Oh, this is nice. Shaded. Pretty. Thank you, Lord, for this spot. Look at this view. This is awesome. Here we are. Having our little snack, lunch, whatever this is. So thankful for this spot and this break and this food. And there we are at the northern boundary. So now officially out of the park, still in the burn area, and um, six ish miles to camp. All right, we need water. But we're going to go 1.1 to water rather than walking down that dirt road and about three miles to our campsite. We're tired. I want to rinse off, at least scrub the soot off my legs and hands in that creek, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes us to get there. Kind of a neat stretch. No. Literally. 